All right, I was on eBay and I saw this and had to have it. Um, so what is it? It's a nice little zippered case and uh, it's a Hewlett Packard um, 1160A miniature passive probe. So it's a, it's, a, it's a scope probe and it's a 10 to one probe and uh, it is miniature. And um, what else there's to say about it? It's a very, very good one. It's a 500 megahertz scope probe. So 500 megahertz scope probes tend to be quite expensive and especially ones made by Hewlett Packard or Textronics and stuff. So this one, I paid $50 for this. Um, and you say, well, it's kind of, kind of a lot for a scope probe, but it was complete. Um, now this particular scope probe had a whole bunch of uh, items that came with it. Um, and so we'll take a look at all of those, but it's a complete kit. So uh, it's very, very nice. Um, so the scope probe itself looks like this, and it looks a bit odd. Um, and there's this little thing here. And if you look at that, you go, oh, that's the times one times 10. No, that's just the release button. I'll show you how that works. Um, and then this is, the, this is the probe over here. And it's pretty long, pretty long uh, cable. Does it say how many meter cable it is? Uh, one and a half meter, uh, one and a half meter cable. So uh, very, very nice quality, uh, flexible cord. And it is small, right? So it is a, a very small compared to other scope probes. I mean, here's a, here's a normal scope probe uh, from, from Rigol. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit small. It's very small in the tip though, much, much smaller. Oops, sorry about that. I'm way off camera. Uh, it's much, much smaller in the tip. So it's much narrower here and it feels very, very small in the hand. So, um, all right. It is times one, uh, times 10 only. Okay. Let me, let me back up a bit. I'm a bit too close here, a bit too close. Um, so it, um, uh, like I said, it looks kind of funny on this end. So let's, let's see how you would attach it to your scope here. It actually just plugs on um, and you're done. And instead of having to screw it on, it actually has a little spring mechanism that, that, that clamps the BNC. And then to unclamp it, to take it off, you have to flip the little switch over and then it lifts out. And so um, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can photograph that. I don't know if I can or not. Um, I'm going to flip the little thing. Yeah, you can see it rotate. You can see it kind of go rotate. So you slip it on, it, it latches, and then you, you can unlatch it there. It has the little uh, ground pin to tell your scope it's a times 10 if your scope, if your scope can use that. Um, all right. It has some, little, has some little colored bands that are permanently attached, but you can change their order if you want to tell you which color is what. Um, okay, so let's, so the real reason to get this, well, other than 500 megahertz, the real reason to get this is all of the cool accessories it comes with. So the first accessory it comes with is, of course, the regular grabby. Um, so this has a little, little spring hook grabby on it, so no difference there. So it comes with one of those. Oops, it goes in here. Um, it comes with this one, which you, oh, you figure, oh, I get two. No, this one is really cool. Uh, so this one uh, gives you a... Uh, a little gold point because everything's gold plated. A little gold point, and um, that gold point is spring loaded. So that's super cool. I don't know if you've ever been probing around circuits, but you're always slipping off of things because of of movements and stuff. Um, this is spring loaded, so it's much easier to keep contact because your hand might shake or move or something. Um, so having a spring loaded uh, point is a is a very very cool thing. Um, let's see, what is this? Uh, get this out. Uh, so it has a whole replaceable tip. So if you break your tip, the whole tip is replaceable. So I mentioned that in another video. Um, this one has replaceable tips. Um, and you get one. Uh, let's see here. The other accessories, we'll, we'll get to the other one here in a minute. Other accessories are grounds. Uh, so you want to have a ground lead on your scope probe. Uh, so that clips, that clips on here like a normal one. And this one has a little alligator clip. Okay. So that one's, that one's like any other scope. Uh, but it comes with a different one. Comes with, uh, comes with this one. We'll clip it on. 
and this one has a little uh, socket. So you can go to uh, a header and you can plug this onto a header. Uh, so that will become in really handy. I do that all the time. So a little, a little socket header. Uh, so that's the ground on that thing. Uh, it comes with a uh, calibration tool, uh, two different size screwdrivers on the ends. Uh, this particular probe has three adjustments. I think I showed one like that before. There's, there's a low frequency adjustment and two high frequency adjustments. So you can really dial this probe in to be very, very nice. Um, okay, let's see. So that's what that is. Uh, it has a little box of goodies here. Uh, it has um, this little plastic piece that slides over the top that protects uh, protects things. So um, let's see. I think this is just a replacement. Yeah, this is just a replacement. So uh, in case you lose this, you get a you get a second one. Um, this screw is on. So where did that go? It came in here. All right, uh, we get a oh, tweezers here. All right, we get a uh, a gold a gold pin. That's a replacement for the spring loaded tip. So we get a replacement one of those, and then we get little uh, little coil springs that we can put on the end of the probe to have a uh, a local high high frequency, uh, high frequency ground. Um, I showed those before and you get four of them, <laughs> not just one, you get four of them, which is super cool. All right. So let's put this back in the box and, uh, let's show you the last thing here. Save the best for last, which I, I think is kind of cool. Um, so this particular thing, um, uh, has two, wires that comes out of it and a little socket here and your scope probe plugs pl pr plugs onto it okay so there now the scope probe is connected to these two wires and these two wires uh, can have a little grabbies put on them so you can either plug these onto uh, pin headers or you can attach these two grab micro grabbers. Uh, and uh, now you've got a, uh, a local a local ground that'll help a little bit with uh, with impedances and stuff. So yeah, there you go. Uh, it's quite a, quite a uh, expansive uh, probe kit. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a scope probe with so many attachments from the get go. Um, and uh, comes with a cool little case to make sure you don't lose all these little things. And uh, like I mentioned, it's a 500, 500 megahertz probe, so it's super high quality. And uh, it's very, very light and uh, won't get in your way. So anyway, um, it comes with uh, instruction manuals and everything. Uh, there's a booklet in here. It has a whole bunch of replaceable parts. And uh, you can you can buy these as well, or unless you could back in the day. I'm not sure if this thing is still sold or not. Uh, this is uh, uh, Hewlett Packard branded. I know that Agilent built these for quite a few years. I don't know if Keysight still builds these or not.